Why hello there everybody, so back from here and today we are going to talk about the video game Mutants Genetic Gladiators that I am going to rant about a little now starting off we will start the game I usually play and record these footages via Bluestacks on the PC I sometimes do on the phone too but the audio gets distorted from time to time, mostly like 4 to 6 minutes into the recording, it bugs a little. Now, a few days ago, this game suffered a lot of crashes, slowdowns and such, especially because of the 9th year anniversary discount, as you can see here. It's interesting that now in the ninth year we are getting we are getting a 80% discount on the Evolution Center for gold and credits. Yeah, and I use it also too. For now I'm 847. Anyway, the main issue that I have now with the game is the gifting system. It's been like years. Yes, the game is 9 years old, but for like 4-5 years, ever since the game was in Kobojo's hands, before before Celsius Online bought it, bought the rights, even then the game suffered from uh, features and bugs that are really nerve wracking As you can see now, when I want to click on it, it stutters auto, freezes for like 5 to 10 seconds all depends from the device where you're playing and I want to show you this it's going to take a long time but bear with me, or you can skip uh, down uh, the timestamps somewhere there ok, follow on I usually send uh, these gifts mystery gifts because you don't know what you're getting in there be it campaign passes, credits, level 0 orbs which I need most don't send me like these small shots of Mutosterone or mad packs, please nobody's using them, nobody even we in the black hole crafting don't use them that often anyway, mystery gift and I'm going to show you what I usually do up in the morning for easier to okay mostly I hate it when Facebook doesn't remember even after I send it daily I send the gifts daily as you can see now always this little window pops up okay now didn't Head. But anyway, every day, almost every day, disclaimer, uh, I usually start the game with sending gifts. And it's going to take some time. Yeah, that's what I do. I send gifts for like 5 minutes. You can skip. Or you can watch me just sitting here, clicking here and sending gifts to my friends it's gonna take a while we arrived at letter D also the fame bug boy oh boy all these years that the fame bug is still not fixed what can I say Celsius, please, get your stuff together, it's not that hard, also, yes, as you can see, I always click here, don't ask again before sending requests to the people, sometimes it remembers, sometimes not, why, I have no idea, that's just how the internet works, that's just how the MGG and Facebook and everything here works I 
I have to send the gifts now because what's going to come later is going to be integral for this thing to finish. We are right at J. Usually it takes around 7 to 10 minutes for uh, me to send the gifts in the morning. But what can we do about it? Still cheap. Oh no, let's see if the sound is on. Yes, it's on. Okay, hmm. okay, we arrived at K, at the letter K. It's going to take some time. Yeah. Whew. The limitation why it's so slow it's because mostly Facebook is to blame here for all these limitations. The game itself can't sell it maximum or sell it all but because of that little window there that pops up when I send gifts from Facebook the maximum limit even after all these years way Back in the time of, if you all remember, with once, Farwell, Mafia Wars, Ninja Wars, all those back then Facebook gaming was like massive. Yeah. Farwell! <laughs> I remember everybody, even their grandparents, played the game. Heck, they didn't know how to turn on the PC, but they sure know how to make a nice farm with all those apples and animals and stuff. Anyway, even after all these years, back then, the limitation is 50 gifts per game. And that's why this game is even to this day limited, because your account on MGG is linked to your Facebook profile. You can link it to the, if you remember, Google, Apple one, to can't remember. But anyway, the main account is linked to your Facebook one. I think the Google is about the trimmers, but whatever. We're almost done. Eight and a half minutes and we are almost finished sending gifts. Almost. Yeah, this is the last, last bunch. Yeah, okay. And we finished sending the gifts. And as you can see now, everywhere it reads accept, accept, accept. Why still accept and send back? I don't know. Just for easier, to make it easier, I'm going to turn off the game and relaunch it. And let's relaunch it again. Loading. Loading. Okay. Now, let's go to the gifting. And it frees again. It freezes, it freezes. Do you play via the mobile, via the web browser, or like me, via Bloopstacks or other any Android player for the PC? It's the same stuff. It all comes down back to the strength of the device. Just want to make something clear. 
76,362 single capeg passes. I have no level 0 orbs. Okay. And we accept all. Accept all and send back. Well, send back not because I already, first of all, sent the gifts. And that's why I do mostly 99% of the time. I first send all gifts, then uh, accept them. Because when you click right at the start, accept all and send back, you're going to be like prompted with a, with a small window like almost 20, 30 times for that one thing. That's why I always send gifts, then accept them later. Okay, accept all and send back. And we are now going to the campaign passes and watch as the number grows on the single ones. And yeah, as you can see, it grew up for a couple of passes. I don't want to do math now. That's when you accepted all the gifts. They're all in your inventory, whatever you got, passes, money, orbs, whatever. Now, let's see if I got any level zero orbs. Look at them. Two, okay. Just want to get rid of them. Why? I always want to level zero orbs is because of this recipe. Even after all this time, Celsius didn't tamper with all those nice little recipes in the black hole crafting. I always wonder why they are, even to this day, supplies power ups. I mean, look at it. A uh, three day power ups 50 50 50. 50. 250, 270. Why? Why are they still after all this time here? Okay, I can get the stars. Why are they still here? And this here too. Passes, okay. But why are they mostly still here when you can easy craft them? I mean, look at it here. All these boosts that I have. Over 2000. Some of them I even used just to make, just for the walls and to point my, to get to my point. When are they all going to expire? In 7,000 days. That's more than 20 and a, and a couple of years. I don't know if we are going to still build it here. If the game is going to still be active, but my boots are going to, Expire them. Anyway, back to the red. Why I want to get first rid of the level zero orbs is because of this. This recipe works wonders. Do you use a big jar of experience boost or the 50% of mutosterone? The results are going to be the same. I usually use this because I need the mutosterone for my mutants. Actually, it's easy to get with this. And yeah. Here going to, you're going to get uh, fun stuff from here, as you can see from my video a couple of years ago. 2006, was it? Man. But you can get either one bronze star, four of the items of experience, candy bar, or this small vial of mutosterone, or even this. Anyway, back to the game. Now, as you can remember, or you can go watch back, if I go back to the messages and wait, it's the same people. The same people that were before. Don't count these first ones. But it's the same garden people. The same faces, the same gifts, the same everything. And if they accept them again, remember, I had to get another two level zero orbs. But remember the number here. It passes. And it got up by 17. That's auto passes. 
Now, did I got the any other gifts? No. As you can see, the credits are still the same. Oh, there are some gifts. But the credits are still the same. Let's get rid of the two because they weren't back then. This is why everybody wants level zero orbs. Believe me. And yeah, four times the cans. Now, back to the gifts. That's it. And wait for the passes to be accumulated. Yep. And we would you look at that? No level zero orbs. No. At least I got the passes, right? Right. Yeah. Are the same people going to be going to show up here again? Yes. There they are. The same people, the same stuff, accept and send back. Or accept. Are the passes going to be accumulated again? Let's see. And yeah. Now. Did you got any level zeros? No, I didn't. Uh, wow, what you look at that. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show. To fix this issue. Mostly. It can be fixed. Is you turn off the game. Wait a little. A little. Five to ten seconds. Mostly because... Either 10 seconds or 5 minutes is the same thing. Launch the game and wait. Sometimes it fixes the issue, sometimes it doesn't. But the campaign pass bug is still here even after all these years. I mean, how the heck am I going to use 76 plus thousand, 76 thousand plus passes? How? Now let's accept the gifts and see who are sending it now. And it didn't fix. It's the same people, same stuff, even after I restarted the game. Is this some disabled combat? No. It didn't, and I'm going to accept it again. Let's see if it's accepted. Sometimes, if something like that happens, I usually just check here on the campaign passes to see if they accumulated. That means I got all the gifts that were in the 50 uh, boxes, and I don't do anything. I turn off the game. I don't go to check to see or something. Then I immediately relaunch the game and see what's going to happen now. Yep, same number. That means the gifts back then are saved. Did it got anything? Nope. Nope, I didn't. And let's see who are the lucky ones now that are sending me gifts. And it's them again. The same people, the same gifts, the same everything. No matter how many times I try, I even rejected it on the X. It's still the same. Still the same gifts. But let's see what will happen if I reject them now. I already send everybody gifts for this day. You can send me back when you want. But for the next two days I'm going to reject everything and let's see if something is going to be changed about this. Reject, 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 reject. 
I rejected it all. I rejected the gifts. <laughs> now, restart the game. Let's see what's going to happen now. Did it change feelings or did it not? Let's see. Wow, it did change, at least at the beginning. So you can kind of fix it if you reject it next time we shall see let's see let's just, let's see nope no level zero orbs here but here are some level zero orbs let's see if we can accept them and have them in our inventory so you need to accept first restart the game reject it restart the game and the diff another Diff bunch of different people are going to appear. Wow, look at this! I got it! I got the level 0 orbs. It's easy for me to count the level 0 orbs than the level 1 orbs because I have a lot of other orbs. Today. Anyway, let's get rid of them too and see if the issue can be fixed now. I'm going to now accept again and see. So we are going to repeat the steps before. The campaign passes are always going to be accepted because yeah, these are the same people. Accept all. Let's see. Let's check the passes. The passes are going to go way up now, but no level zero orbs. Did it? Did not. Did it not. Now, exit the game. Let's see. Now I'm going to accept again. If uh, if it's the same people, I'm going to accept again. If not, I'm going to again relaunch the game and reject everything. same ones accept again let's see if it's changed hmm. okay changed Did we got any nope I did now, what are we going to do now is relaunch the game and reject every gift that is in the inbox. If it's the same people, I'm going to reject every gift here and see after the restart of the game if it's going to be the same yep these are the same people let's reject them all i hate when it's so slow down Some of the people are all the same at once. How can they like send me five times the gifts? How? I 
pass from a mystic gift. I need rotation for the tag team credits. And let's exit the game. And we launch it. So first of all, I have to accept all the, all the gifts, relaunch the game, reject them all, relaunch the game for the new bunch to appear. Let's see if the new ones are here. And yeah, the new ones are here. I'm going to try something to see if it's going to help. What if I don't need to relaunch the game? What if I go back again and reject it when I accepted it before? Okay, let's see if there are any... Yes, they are! Oh, five! Five times the rate. Nice! Okay! Just to be sure. Let's keep doing this thing up. Six times, six times. Nice. It's easier for me to show you how it's done when I use up all level zero orbs. Because it's clean, it looks nicer. And it's all here. I don't, I won't restart the game, I will go straight to the gifts again and reject them all, because I already got them, same people, same stuff. Six level zero orbs, hmm. what do you know? Also, I mean, how can the same person send me gifts, passes, credits? Okay, I have a notation for the tech team, but how? How can one person send that many requests? Kobojo, for easier use, you can just like put an expiration date on the gifts. If it's not accepted in the next 24 hours, Get rid of them. Easier for everybody. Now, let's restart the game. And let's see if a different bunch of people are here. I'm going to do one thing later too. Accept gifts. Reject them. Then check in the gifting in the box if another bunch is here without restarting the game. Man, the game knows I'm making a video of it, so now it's kind of like shy. And yeah, different people, different stuff. Nice. Accept. Check the campaign passes. Then check the black hole. And... Okay, now check the black hole. Nice. Okay. Reject the gifts. Reject, 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 reject. 
It's like I'm saying a dress for the name, yeah. No, no, no. I think you already accepted it. But no, 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 nah, no, nada, no, no, uh, no, 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 thank you, but no, thank you, but no, no, what's going to happen now is, let's see, Hmm. Nice. Different people. Before accepting it, just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six levels here. Oops. Accept all and set back. Gonna change. If you are turning off the game or not, the campaign pass bug is still going to be here. So you can literally accept, accept, accept if you need campaign passes. I don't know what you're going to do with like this number. No. I already said it. And that's what something helps too because like the game didn't register. And what do you look at that? So I have to do the following. Start the game, send the gifts, restart the game because it's going to still register that you have to accept a send back even if you send it. Then, accept the gifts, reject the gifts, accept the next bunch. You can in between check on the raid pass, on the campaign passes or in the level 0 orbs in your black hole crafting if it's accepted or not. Now, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9 level 0 orbs. Let's see what's going to happen now. Mm, this is going to be interesting now. Let's reject them because I already accepted it. Reject, 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 reject. When I'm rejecting gifts, it's easy for me to remember the faces who send me it. But yeah, if you could dial, dial it down a little bit with the campaign passes, that would be great. Okay, launch the inbox again. Well, the gifts come on load. <sighs> Sometimes this game really needs time to figure out stuff. Ugh. Come on, connect already. It's not that hard. Yeah, and there you go. Different people, different stuff. Just again to be sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, level 0 orbs. 6, okay. Accept and send back. Something in this game really needs to get its source code one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve nice so yeah this is the only let's say solution for the gifting system to work now after i accepted it because yeah it's going to take some time but after i accepted it the same people come back 
and it loaded instantly because it's the same stuff. If I said that now the campaign passes are going to be accumulated again, not the credits, not the other gifts and for the crafting stuff. And yeah, that's what I have to say about this gifting system and its major flaws. That even after all these years, yes, in video game terms, that's a lot of time that you can fix a couple of bugs in your game. Why? I don't know. I don't work at Celsius. I never had any experience in those kind of so environment. But I think if you take your time and see through the source codes, what's making it so damn slow, maybe you can fix the game for this, for us. Anyway, I'm going to accept the gifts now again. Let's see. Nice, look at them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, nice. That's a lot of those zeros. Anyway, so yeah. I after accepting the gifts, I had to reject them. Because, yes, yeah. Why accept them again when you can reject them and another different batch is going to come back. Last time I did something like that, it took me like a whole day. Yes, a whole day. Just to see if the inventory is going to be different. And every time it was. But the number of gifts just keeps getting infinite. I have around two thousand people in my friends list around 2000 that are playing this game 50 gifts at a time and like this that's just a big number Anyway, that was my rant about the gifting system in the game, in the MGG game. The other thing that I want just to brag a little bit is after all this time, all these years, back then in 2016 I started something like, yeah, my little project here in the game, Project Roof. Yeah, was meaning no. Anyway, back then I bought I accumulated a lot of gold with my gold furnaces, forges, and, uh, and, and have waited for the buildings to be 50% off. Back then, Zone Deluxe times 4 was 500 gold. And rarely in the PV, PVE rewards, there was like rarely you get as a zone as a reward. Back then you had Cyber, Mythic and all this, all the stuff. Anyway, yep, I finally did it. Everywhere where the zones are, I replaced every single mutant that was up there on the roof with platinum bounty hunters. Back then I had uh, just the normal version of bounty hunters but they were weak. No matter if you reach them with 700-800 evil, they are weak and I'll show you why. When I want to level up my mutants I usually go here. For now when the the new bunch of bounty hunters are still weak. I use Zeus and the last two weak mutants that are on the roof. No tag. I don't have time to send tag attacks and 
cafe passes because it's time consuming and for now I don't need it. Anyway, Zeus can one hit KO most of these units here, especially because he is so strong. And yeah, that's how my last two bounty hunters are getting their XP. Why I switched to what I why I wasted all those countless golds and uh, platinum stars just because I can. Anyway, the other reason is because I usually use uh, want to make like the last three mutants in my list to maximize their experience count is use them here anyway when i want to use like three bounty hunters i usually go for uh, colossus not this one because yeah because this it's not super effective i guess it's attack and this is how i do i go back to colossus no wait it was like the last week two only they're going to be all the same level and Almost one hit killing. His their ability for like to generate shield is stronger than the cost's attacks. And yeah, that's how I want to make my my mutants uh, strong. Anyway, that's it for me, just wanted to show you what I do most of the time. Send a gift, send a friend request, when I can, I can accept it, if you want me to have, if you want to have me as your pet attack. I'm usually almost daily active, here and there I play something. Now I have to get back to recording the second part of the ninth year. Anniversary battles. I see it, it has been up. Yeah. That's it for me in this episode. What else can I say? I finished the roof. I finished making all my Platinum bounty hunters here. Maybe later in the in a later date, I'm going to I'm going to like replace some of the mad labs with another zone and put here some mutants too. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's what you get. See ya.